Hey friends, in this video let's create an Android application to display our website in mobile. We can use Android Studio for making this Android application. Here we are creating a new project and the application name you can give your website name or anything that you like. Here my website name lovesmss.com and the domain which I have. You can give your own application name and domain name that you like. Now let's click on the next button. Here the minimum SDK which I selected as gingerbread. Next. Now you have plenty of activities here. For showing web view, I'm using full screen activity so that our website will be displayed in full screen on mobile here the activity name as full screen activity you can either keep it or you can edit with your own activity name here i give home activity as activity name and the layout name became activity home now click on the finish button now the gradle is loading with our activity home and the javascript files here it is the activity home.xml and we will see the design view by clicking on the design button here this android studio is having some rendering problem so i'm selecting android lollipop 5.1.1.1 to display the design view here the dummy content we have to delete this dummy content and it is a frame layout now you will see the dummy content is removed in the text view you can see the text editor and the design view you will see how it looks in the phone now we have to add a web view to this layout now i just added web view by clicking and dragging to the layout you can see it here and now we need to adjust the width of this layout web view layout uh, i'm selecting fill parent for the width and height now web view is completely occupied on the screen now what we need to do is to edit the java code to call the web uh, url so here i clicked on the java file and you can see the drop, drop down arrows here you will see the home activity dot java here we don't need uh, these comments and all the, all these things so just delete all these things and now we just uh, need uh, this much of code here that is uh, we are uh, in main activity or you can see home activity here in this uh, within this braces you need to type private web view web view web view is the web view uh, that we just uh, drag and dropped in the layout and uh, we are declaring that web view now we just overriding to our code here we are typing protected void on create bundle saved instance state so these are java scripts java codes uh, that uh, you may not be familiar with or if you are familiar with then it is fine if not just follow these codes and just typing here and you can create a, your own android application by simply typing this code otherwise i will give a link to this code so that you can easily copy paste it uh, to your android studio so just type uh, the things which i am typing here if you are an absolute beginner uh, it will be easy for you this is a simple android application and it is also very useful you can share this android application with your friends so that they will see your website without going to your website URL. They will simply need to install this application on their mobile phone. 
now we are just uh, writing the code to display our website in that web view we just created in the layout we are referencing this web uh, web view in the web layout and we are setting the content view as the activity home now we just uh, created the web view load URL that is www.lovesms.com which is my website here you can change to your website name in the load URL the green color you see the URL address there you can change to your website URL here in the Android manifest you need to give the users permission here we are we are giving users permission for connecting to the internet otherwise you will not see the website because we need internet connection on our phone to see our website so uh, to get that uh, permission we just uh, need uh, need to add this code in manifest then now we uh, now we completed our android application we can just compile it and see how how is there any errors or uh, we can run it using our emulator here i am starting my emulator it will be uh, loaded in the background now there is no errors in this uh, application now let's uh, run this application and see how it works so this much code we need to provide in our javascript and i think this is a pretty simple and you can easily uh, understand it and create it create this application the emulator is loading with a uh, script and we need to wait for some time if you have any qu uh, any uh, queries or any things uh, that you feel you can ask and i will i'll be happy to help you out so what we added here is the web view it is mainly we are using here nothing much uh, to worry about we are just uh, referencing our web view in activity home to our javascript in the javascript uh, we are loading our url uh, that is uh, our url www.lovesms.com here uh, you can change to your own url so that the uh, web view will load your website here our emulator is loaded uh, with our website now you can see our website will be loaded in our emulator it will take some time to load because our we are using emulator if it is in your phone with high speed internet connectivity then it will load fast now you see the website is loaded uh, with the content and uh, this is my website which i created using blogger if uh, you have a website with blogger then you have to enable the mobile view and you will easily find out this in your mobile application if it is your web if your website is uh, logged uh, created by yourself you can set a mobile view enabled and uh, you can have this application to display your website thank you for watching